for the timing and scoring, heading down past the start finish line and under the first spectator bridge. And we're riding in this um, yeah. And driving into corner one, as you can see, is quite bank. As soon as possible, we'll get a reading on this as to just exactly what kind of banking it is. Extremely high speed corner. Slow flies away, heading into turn two. And into turn two here, a uh, Elkhart Lake kink type turn, little braking, slight correction, and down the straightaway. Under the main entrance gate, bridge, it's going to need some extensive repair. As you can see, most of this racetrack is going to need mostly cleaning this. The weeds uh, are not as bad as they look. They've, they're growing out of very small cracks. Uh, rather simply removed when it's wet. Just a little bit of scraping with a, with a shovel will get that off. <coughs> This will be your turn three, extremely fast right-hander, very wide track surface, two-part turn, this is the second part of the turn three, then heading up into what will probably be corner, corner four, maybe station five. making a right and heading uphill to a very steep uphill that section. This, as you can tell, is probably the roughest point on the racetrack down in this bottom. Okay, at the top of the hill we have a right-hander that will probably be corner six. Short straight. And the left. Another short straight, right. And then a left and a long sweeping turn with an opening radius here up underneath the second spectator bridge. Uh, 
as the driver passes under this bridge, he'll reach his top gears and begin a very fast, slightly downhill with a left hand bend. Another slight, slight straightaway and then a hard left hand turn. At this point, we're going to have to do some serious road work due to uh, erosion. This aspect of the course right here, um, it's actually been due to a culvert letting go underneath uh, water flowing beneath the surface of the road and the large pipe that was due to carry it underneath falling further down due to, I think, animal activities, digging the dirt out and whatnot. So we'll have to slice this out, dig a fresh culvert, probably do concrete work, build a concrete uh, wall on the right side, and then the surface itself at this point will probably be concrete also for about 20, 25 feet. It shouldn't be hard work, but it'll be the, the only time that the track itself really has to be dug into, I think, in a serious way. Continuing on, heading down to the S's. This section of uh, relatively fast S curved turns. quite fast at this point. And then tightening into a pretty hard left, moving into a diminishing radius right hand turn, which diminishes and then extends as you come around to the right. At this point, your power on just as hard as you can go. The corner just continues to bend around and open up, and you begin uphill. And this would be probably at this. Uh, this would probably be one of the two fastest places on the racetrack. flattens out slightly on the top and we start downhill through a heavily banked corner and at this point you will begin to feel a considerable g-force. <laughs> and back up to the pit straight. Okay, we'll give you one tour of the racetrack at a moderate speed, and you can just kind of get an idea of what happens here.
and that's a tour of the new Greenwood Raceway Park.